Hello, I'm Helen Rebel and this is Maria Box and welcome once again to Yoga Rocks Box. So Maria was my first interviewee last year which was really nice and now a year later she's back and it's been a lovely two weeks retreat with, with Maria at Yoga Rocks and um, we were going to talk a little bit about development in yoga. So um, does your practice continue to develop after you've been practicing for years? Yes. Yes, always, even though sometimes it feels like on a physical level it might go back, but on a psychological, mental and spiritual level I do feel that I work through layers within myself and that I, I kind of find a deeper space within myself through the breath. So yes, so I do feel it's changing over the years and it becomes more of a um, connecting practice with myself and where I am and more than on a physical level. And on a retreat, do you think that this happens in a more intense manner? You get a, a, a quicker development, if you like? Yeah, you might not feel it during the retreat, but I do think taking time away from your daily life and focusing on your practice and where you are with yourself uh, will take you further within. Uh, during a retreat you might find obstacles within yourself that you might not find in your daily life because you're so busy with all, all the things, all your normal routines that you're doing. So when you get away from that, I do think after a couple of days, you know, the first days of honeymoon in a magic place like this, you will find and see your thought patterns coming up. And here you have all the time to really see those things within yourself. And they might be happy and joyful, but they might also be a bit scary or heavy thoughts or things that are holding you back that you might not see in daily life. So in a retreat place like this, sometimes it feels like you're stuck. It can feel like that. It doesn't have to feel it, but it can be like that. But if you work through it with love and compassion, with Ahimsa, and uh, you just accept that's how it is now, I do think when you get away, you get home, routines and your daily life you will feel that you have gone deeper within yourself. And do you think that a retreat is a good place to start yoga? Do you think that the beginners on a retreat, do you think they can cement the practice by starting on retreat? Do you think it's really a really place for beginners to start? I think that's very individual. Yeah. I do think it's very individual. I think some people can really like jump to it and it'd be like the great start you can ever give to someone or to give to yourself. I do think it can also be, depending on what you carry with you, a heavy experience mm. and a bit scary but if you have someone that guides you and talks about it so you understand that's how it is, you continue and go back home. Okay. Yeah. And physically over a retreat, can you expect the practice to develop or will sometimes it go a little bit backwards? Acceptance. It's part of the acceptance. Sometimes when you work physically uh, intense with yourself, if you're not used to do that, and also other things come up, you can feel like you're going backwards. But that's just a feeling of the physical, the gross body, inside the emotional body, and, and, the, and the other part, the five layers of the body, their changes are taking place, usually, in a retreat place, in an intense period like this. So, as I said before, when you come home, you know what's been happening in this in this environment in this intense practice as it is. So as as if you've been practicing yoga and you've never been on retreat, it's quite a nice thing to do then. It's, yeah, it's very nice. It's really nice. It's like a treat to give to yourself in your daily life to just pull away from that and focus on something that you find is very important for you in your life. Otherwise I don't think anyone in the map regularly or, and, and really to, to pull away from daily routines once in a while, at least once a year, I think it's really good for you and your spirit and your physical body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, I mean all of you it's good for. The practice is so much more than on the physical as we all know, mm. so just to take time away for yourself to get a feel of where you are with yourself, I think that's the greatest gift you can give to yourself. Being on retreat really gives you a, a chance to let go because there's nothing, there's nothing, there shouldn't be anything else going on. 
we look after you to the point that you can just be yourself and, and that's important isn't it to let go of life every now and again yes yeah, especially in a place like this where everything is so taken care of you know food is on the table clean sheets yoga shala clean everything is kind of organized for all of us for me as a teacher for the students you you are there Phil is there all the love that you bring out in the groups that come here we can totally relax where we are and uh, that is really beneficial to, to take that time out and see yourself but it doesn't mean that you will see the love in your life that can also bring out sadness because you will really see that that's where I am now I have the time to really take care of, of that yeah, so yes. being on retreat is very much about looking after yourself looking after bits of yourself that you maybe didn't realize needed looking after <laughs> no and also what you said like um, giving uh, letting go yeah letting go of parts of yourself that you see this is I don't need this anymore this could be very clear in a place like this this is not beneficial for me anymore <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> so yes. come on retreat at yoga rocks and experience yes. all that Maria will be back with us next year yes Yes, yeah, so lovely. Right. See you then. Okay, that's it from Yoko Rock's box. Bye. Bye. <laughs>